everyone, in this video I'm going to test solfoxide.exe on a real computer. Considering this is actually not the main topic of this video, I actually, you know, kind of want to test the new VGA capture setup, the ultimate setup that I found recently. I just tested it in like in a polygon state, you know. So not only that, but we are also going to test Sulfoxide's corrupting capabilities on the Kingston flash drive that is like, I don't know, 16 years old or something and it's already corrupting itself, so nothing gained, nothing lost. And also, you are going to see your favorite eNova computer. Let me show you. Alright, here's the eNova you, you've all been waiting for. Other good news is that I'm using a corrupted hard drive. See? Damaged. Uh, which I've been testing malware on before as well. Uh, you can check out which video was it. I think it was your files ready to download.exe. Put up a pre preview or something. So, see? See for yourself. We're using. We have a little e novel here. We'll place the hard drive in. Slide it in. Beautiful. It's ready to go. Okay, here it is. So, let me show you what the VGA capture setup I've got. So, the setup is fairly simple for VGA capture. Let me take this out of the way. So, here we got the capture card in the background. It is connected to the secondary display that is here. The output is obviously connected to the display. Here's the input HDMI port. Well, you see, the Innovo has, it in fact has an HDMI port. But you see, it doesn't really work when I plug it directly in. It's not supposed to be a power on display for this machine. And for this reason, I also have to VGA capture it. And so the key to VGA capture is this converter. There's VGA on one side and HDMI on the other side. You can also pass audio through it, but I'm not gonna bother because my capture card has audio capturing capabilities. Alrighty, so... The VGA converter allows you to basically convert almost any standardized resolution to HDMI and that's all we need. It requires a 5 volt input. Here's the cable for that and let's set it up real quick. We'll also need some you know, some random wire so it could hold in place because it, it doesn't really work without it. Okay, let's get to setting it up. Okay, so here is a little rosebud. We place it here. Next, we connect the VGA converter with the HDMI wire and we plug it in to the laptop. Okay. Looks good? Looks good. Next, we connect the 5 volt input, we pass it through the bottom, because why not? Pass it through the bottom and plug it in here. Nice. And here's the USB port, very convenient. There are three actually, so that's very nice. Okay, come on. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the laptop and we'll go from there. Primary screen, you can see the capturing software which, I, which I'm using in OBS. And on the left side, there's gonna be output. Let's turn it on. Okay, it's charged. Very great. Well, now we gotta switch. Oh my god. We gotta switch to HDMI 2 here. We also gotta. Oh, there it is. Also gotta deactivate and activate it back. So I'm gonna turn off display capture for now. And just you watch. Perfect. It does capture it. But how about we boot into Windows? gonna be a better version. I don't know why I installed a better version back then. I think I didn't have any USB at hand. Oh, deactivate multiple times. Yeah, there we go. It's a little quirk with 
with VGA capture where you have to deactivate and activate it so it so it takes the correct resolution because it's trying to set up for V-sync and horizontal sync, vertical and horizontal syncs. Let's continue with this. Oh, we can't continue. How about we just restart? That's probably because I switched the drives from a different Lenovo laptop. All right, it starts now. See, I have to deactivate and activate it multiple times, but it does work. So here is the laptop screen. Here is the capture that I can record. Also deactivate, activate. Each time it switches resolutions, it's gonna be a little painful with sulfoxide because it has a port where it changes resolutions to 640 to 480. Uh, yeah, but you basically get at the idea. I think I am going to switch to the capture mode so you guys can have better clarity and you can... Oh wait, gotta restart first. So you guys have better clarity and uh, your eyes are not sore because of open lid or other displays. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get some music going as well. Okay, so overall it was pretty boring in my opinion, but I kind of like, expected it to not work perfectly fine on real hardware. Real hardware and VMs are far more different. But I still have the question in my mind. How well did the flash drive perform? Let's see if it's corrupted or not. Okay, so all the files got wiped out from here. Yeah, every file got wiped out and uh, the only thing that's left are folders. So here is the impact by sulfoxide on flash, USB, portable devices, whatever. Anything that you can connect to USB and modify files through. So yeah, that was pretty much it. That was a test of my VGA capture setup. Also a test of uh, sulfoxide.exe on the real hardware. And I also destroyed the damaged system that was filled with miners. And I also destroyed the flash drive that's already corrupted. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and take care. This was the 100th video on my Android channel. Thank you so much for watching my second channel also.
uh, even the math enthusiasts that come stop by at the times, I love you all, no matter who you are, and uh, that's it. <laughs>